Hello everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Makes, and guess where I went today? That's right, I, yeah, I went out. I stopped at a Dollar Tree. Can't help myself. I was. I went to Dollar Tree. I had a. I had a very short list. I needed. I needed a few things, and I actually forgot to look for one of the things on my list. But did that stop me? Of course not. Did I come out of there with a lot of stuff? Of course I did. So let's see the damage I did. Okay. I got this lovely roll of gift wrap or craft paper. And, yeah, I got it just because of the paw prints. I just thought this would be a lovely way to wrap boxes that I send in the mail, you know, just to cover them up instead of just regular craft paper with its paw prints. They're so cute. And yeah, so Dollar Tree in Canada, the items are $1.25. So that's the price of everything. That's the price of each item that I bought at Dollar Tree. So, of course I picked up a few things that were not on my list, including this tray. I'd seen a lot of these acrylic trays for, you know, outside for the summertime. And this is the first one that spoke to me. I thought this would go well with my decor in my uh, my gazebo. So I got this one with the nice palm leaves on it. And picked up a couple cans of air freshener. That's always good to have when you live in a house full of boys. Just saying. No other comment to make but that. Now, one of the things that was on my list, and I say one of the things, yeah, uh, that was on my list, I was purposely going into Dollar Tree for, okay, was these gel pens. Now, this week, um, I took the time to go through my entire collection of gel pens to see which pens were still working, which had dried out, which, you know, and I, I had to uh, put aside a whole bunch of pens that were dried up. And as I was going through my gel pens, I was noticing which ones are, uh, seem to last longer and seem to have more ink. And these were a winner in my case. Uh, the Promax gel pens that I have bought at Dollar Tree really have always worked really well for me. They've always been like really uh, juicy and they seem to last a long time. They don't seem to clog as much as some other gel pens I've bought. And so I said, I'm going to get some more of these because you never know if this is something that will... Uh, get discontinued or replaced. So I went uh, to buy more of these to keep in my stash because I really like uh, coloring with these uh, Promax gel pens and the other gel pens that I get at Dollar Tree. So the other gel pens I got from Dollar Tree are these other Promax gel pens. These ones are these ones are the gel rollers. And what's the difference between these two is that these, I think, are metallic. Yeah, have glitter in them, and these do not have glitter. So I got a package of these ones. And I also bought some of the Jot gel pens. I got this package of six. And this package of six, I... the pen is pretty big and it seems to have like a comfortable grip so I wanted to try these out to see how they how they fare compared to uh, some other gel pens so I think that's it for the gel pens that I got and uh, by the cash I did see this pen it's just a, a pen but it's a little flamingo and they had them in a uh, mint color, mint green color, like a baby blue, and this kind of pink fuchsia. So I just, I just wanted the pink one. So I thought it would look cute with my other pens here, because I, I have all these.
things on my desk, on my stationery, my pink pencils, pink pens. Yeah. And I got some of these. These finally showed up at my Dollar Tree. Uh, the ballpoint pens with the hearts. I've seen a lot of you guys with all these. And I just picked them out because I thought they're very nice to give as gifts. They're great for Valentine's Day especially. So I got that. And one of the things that was on my list that I needed I, <coughs> were index card, what white index cards. And I have index cards, but I didn't have any white ones left. So I got this package of 200, which is the regular size index card, and this package of 100, which is the bigger size index cards. So just needed to get more of those for my office. I got them. Um, and in the food aisle, I wanted to get some more of those coconut uh, Vortman cookies, but they were out, and the cookie shelf was pretty bare, I have to say, and it didn't have any of the peanut butter either. So I got one package of the vanilla. Because my, my guys uh, like these little cookies uh, as a little snack in the evening, so I got that. And my son really likes these Weiler's Italian Ices. So I had bought a box for them to try, and uh, they said, oh, Mom, these are really good. Could you get some more? So, yeah, Mom got some more. And I'm going to try these Vortman cookies. They have coconut. I don't think they'd be anything like the wafer ones that I already called and really liked, but I thought we could try these out. The coconut sounds great, you know, for summer. It's like, it's really nice. And I saw, I think, it, was it Tina? Or was it? Yeah, I think she hauled these napkins I can't remember sorry and uh, I said oh, I'll keep my eyes open for those when I go back to Dollar Tree and, and they had them so I got them and I'm hoping to set up something for my husband for Father's Day um he wants this fancy coffee making machine and we want to build him like a little coffee bar so just thought we'd add this and then I was looking for some mugs that I saw so many people haul that I really wanted to get to put with you know this future coffee section the bar thing and uh they didn't have them so i wanted the mugs with the roosters because i like to decorate with chickens and roosters in our in our kitchen but they haven't shown up at my store um and in the around the toy section they had just a new display they had just put out a whole bunch of new little cars and trucks and they had Two red pickups, and they're not even the same red, but I don't care. So I got them because uh, there's some of us who are a little crazy and think of Christmas all right now. And, uh, yeah, we use these for some decorations at Christmas time. Fairy gardens and all sorts of things. Um, so that was the thing that I think that's the only thing I got in the toy aisle. And in the food aisle... This is new at uh, my Dollar Tree. It is it's a sauce. <laughs> it is Kikoman. So Kikoman makes really good products. Uh, sauce Unagi Sushi. Sushi sauce, I guess. I don't know. And it doesn't look like sushi to me. But anyway. Uh, yes, yeah, so I got this because... I tell you, my husband and my younger son love Asian food. I love Asian food, too, but they just have this thing for all the sauces. So uh, I got this for them, especially. And this is all, they just, they had a whole whack of these, so I got them. Uh, the teriyaki, the, the Kikoman teriyaki uh, based and glaze sauce. This will be good on the barbecue. Mm. And this one is the orange sauce. So I got I got them some yummy, yummy Kikoman sauces so they can sauce up their meat. <laughs> um, you know, this in the toy aisle, uh, in my Dollar Tree does not have the best book section. It's really, really small and they don't have a lot of selection. Uh, and they don't have a lot of coloring books either. But I picked these ones up. These, um, I've seen other people all these though, but they were new at my store. 
So this is the Crayola Art with Edge. Just saying, all that we see or seem is but a dream within a dream. So it, this is a, a coloring book with a lot of quotes, sayings, like positive quotes that you can color. And um, I think it's, per yeah, the pages are perforated. So you can color these and, you know, frame them if you want or stick them in a, a scrapbook of some sort. So, so there's one, each page is, can be torn out and you don't lose the image on the other side because there isn't one. So I got that. I thought that might be fun to uh, play with or to make some signs or to put in an art journal. And then I picked up the adult coloring book, Geometric. I had seen this before, but I kept walking by. But I got it this time because I'm suddenly into coloring more lately. So I just thought I would add this to my extensive coloring book collection. So I got this one. Now, before I cast out, I did pick up my favorite snack, my nibs. So one of my favorite snacks. Like that. I got a set of these two little drawers for my, um, and I'm quoting Sandy here. I think it was Sandy who said that. My storage tower on steroids. <laughs> I think I was in need of one more of these set of these little drawers. So I got that because my store hadn't had them in a long time, and they they had a whole bunch today. So I got that. And <clears throat> oh, I also picked up these cute notepads. I thought these were lovely to have for, you know, throwing in my purse. And also, you know, to give us little little gifts and some friend mail and stuff. So it's really, they're really cute little, they're just regular notepads, but the covers are cute. So I've got, there's four in each. I got those. And... And, oh, in the makeup, this is new this week at my Dollar Tree, the e.l.f. Uh, Flawless Face Powder. And it is in ivory. So we'll give this a try. I'm wearing the, um, the lip balm that I got last time, the e.l.f. lip balm that was new at my Dollar Tree. And it's very nice. It's, it's not too, like, it's not greasy or sticky. It's just fine. And... Oh, so again, uh, when I was looking for my gel pens, the gel pens are in with the stationary stuff, and that aisle, one side is stationary and the other side is craft. So it's basically my favorite aisle in the whole store, of course. And I, I looked over, I was like, well, I'm not going to. I was here just a few days ago. It's not like there's going to be anything new or really in the craft section. I was just here a few days ago. And then I thought, well, with, you know, all these rumors about <clears throat> multi-craft, uh, leaving Dollar Tree and all that, you know, I should start, maybe I should look in case there's stuff that I missed, blah, blah, blah. Well, I didn't miss anything. And sure, a lot of stuff I saw that some of it's been bought. There's less than there was the other day. But that was even more stuff. There was tons of stuff, and all from Multicraft, so either my store is late to this game here, this rumor thing, I don't know, but there, there's just, a, there was a lot more stuff at my store. Uh, so one of the things I picked up, I've seen other people haul these, but they weren't at my store yet, so now they are, are the Color Factory Adhesive Stencils, and I picked up this one here with the homemade Inspire all these positive sayings and although they're adhesive stencil you, you they can be reused and reused and you don't have to use them with the adhesive if you don't want to but they're really helpful when you want to like stencil something that has a curve in it like a flower pot yeah it's really practical to have that adhesive and this one is shine like a star or shining like a star I should say sorry and got a whole bunch of little stars. This is great for my, my American friends for uh, your 4th of July. I think it's very, very patriotic. And uh, then there's this one with the borders, with the flowers. 
This is so similar to stuff I already have, but hey, I did not have this stencil, so I had to get it. And again, some nice positive sayings. Hello, I like that. Hello, sunshine. And just some really fun, fun little sayings to stencil. And this one is so cute with the little birdhouse and butterflies. Oh, the bird is lovely. What a lovely bird. And oh, isn't this one cute? Little friends. I love that. Well, I know <clears throat> Tina was thinking we should make so a sign. Maybe I should make you a sign with this guy on it. Okay. With a red, you know, in a circle and a red bar that goes across. But I don't know if they can read that. <laughs> Joke. Um, new. Again, uh, this is Craft Medley. These little tags, they are price and labeling swing tags. There are 40 pieces in here, and these are the craft paper kind. Not that I need to uh, price anything, but I just thought they, I would have these because I do need labels on stuff all the time. So, And sometimes I can't stick a label. And I just thought they were cute, so I got that. And they also have the... Did I get the other ones? Yes, I did. I also have them in the chalk, the chalk it up paper tags. And I'll, there's 30 pieces in the, for the chalk it up. I guess it costs more for, to make them with that paper. So I got these. And I picked up, they had more of the craft medley organizer boxes. So I got three more of these. I have a whole, I have a lot of these boxes already. I use them a lot. So I just picked up three more because not that I needed it, but I did pick up some beads because they were new at my store. They had some new glass beads, dyed glass beads. So they have them like this. And they also have them on the string here. So they're they're so pretty. They're like they're a matte. They're glass. They're like nice. I got this one. And then I also got the green blue one. Uh, the brown and black. And on the strands. Oh, I just thought these were so, so pretty. Like this one. They're like the pearls. I think these are pearls. Yeah, glass pearl chips. They're just so pretty. So these would, are lovely to use uh, not, not for making jewelry, making necklaces and bracelets, but also for making tassels. They're just really, really pretty. And these, this green one, I just thought was gorgeous. Gorgeous. Again, glass pearls. Very nice. And, oh, uh, and the strand of this color. Now come to think of it, maybe I should have picked up more because if I want to make a necklace, I'm going to need a lot more. Anyway, uh, I was thinking more crafting than making jewelry. And my Dollar Tree has placed the Forever in Time, the these ones, these strips of gems in where they have the bridal shower stuff. The wedding bridal shower gift stuff so um and they had more this week so i picked some more up for some i thought these would be fun to have for some projects and new at uh this week at my store were these craft medley mini glass containers look how tiny they are they're so tiny they're so cute and I these make for great little embellishments they make for great little bottles you know if you have um a message in a bottle maybe in your fairy garden <laughs> or making potions you know for putting potions or uh, just all sorts of cute little crafty ideas for, for these so I had to get these they're really really cute I think they're really really cute so and and this was a new thing at my Dollar Tree uh, the rhinestone trims and I thought these 
for lovely colors that I don't have in my rhinestone collection. Can you believe it? Something I don't have. And yeah, I got that. And of course, I had to get the traditional one. But uh, so I got two of these because I just thought these are colors that you don't see very often. And I love this rose kind of color here, rose type of gemstone. So I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it for my Dollar Tree haul today. That was not supposed to be a haul. It was just supposed to get index cards, a letter opener, which I completely forgot to get. And what was the other thing I needed? Oh, Italian ices. So, uh, yeah, I got what I needed, except my letter opener. So I might have to go back. <laughs> and that's it for my Dollar Tree haul. Uh, I hope you uh, at least get a chuckle out of this. And um, please, uh, I hope to, uh, that you start enjoying this nice weather. It's really, it's going to be hot uh, this weekend. So, and I don't know, by the time I upload this video, it'll probably be a few days from now, so. Whatever, wherever you are, I hope that you get to enjoy uh, summer. Thank you so much for watching. I would so appreciate a thumbs up. Please like and leave me comments and share. Until next time, stay crafty. Bye.